Hi, it's Ken again. This is uh, another of the booklets I have produced for my great granddaughter, Ruby, who is seven, class seven, sorry. Uh, she's 11 years old. So they're not teaching booklets, they're just uh, sort of to reinforce what she's already learned at school. I think this is the uh, 17th in the series I've produced for her. And this one is called Magnets and the Magnetic Field. If you've ever watched David Attenborough's nature programs, you will have seen the bird of paradise. The male is very attractive and dances around to attract a mate. The female is very plain, but they are still attracted to each other. Sometimes we see an attractive lady with a very plain man, or a handsome man with a very plain lady. So in nature, sometimes opposites attract each other. In magnetism, though, opposites always attract. We can consider magnets of two poles, a north pole and a south pole. For a bar magnet, this is like so. North pole, south pole. If we have two magnets, put them close to each other, if the north faces the south, then these magnets are pulled together, attracted. If the north faces the north, then the magnets are pushed apart, attracted here, repelled here. This is because there is some sort of field around each magnet. We call this magnetic field. We can't see the field, but we can see its effects, which will show its direction is from the north to the south. You can see there is a field by putting a piece of paper over it and shaking some iron filings on the paper. The field is very obvious, but not the direction. Here we can see the field around the magnets. We don't know which way it's going, we can find out by using small compasses. Here we have the same magnet. Now we've got some small compasses. You can see the field is going from north to south. From north to south. That does show the direction of the field. With opposite poles, the field lines are in opposition to each other in that way, so cancelling out. Cause the poles to be pulled together or attracted. With like poles, the fields push against each other and the magnets are repelled. The Earth has magnetic field. It's like having a, a magnet down the middle here. So the geographic North Pole is this one here, which is a straight line down the middle. The magnetic North Pole is this one. It tends to be a bit confusing, really, because the bar magnet in the middle, which is, represents the Earth magnetic, shows a magnet with the South Pole and the North. But this is the direction the field sets. It goes from North to South. There's a difference between the magnetic North Pole and the geographic North Pole, around about 10%, 10 degrees, I think. This is called the magnetic declination. So there we are, just a very short booklet on magnets and magnetic fields. Magnetism can cover a great deal of topics. So in the next topic, which will probably be uh, electrical engineering, we we'll see how we can use a magnetic field to produce electricity and vice versa. There are some questions at the end here. Answer true or false, the first one. You can try them if you want to. These are for Ruby to do. If you want to try them, you can do. So 
Bye for now. If you want to see my other booklets, I think that, as I said before, I think there's 17, you can find them on my YouTube, Kenneth Mallison, all one word, Kenneth Mallison. Thank you.